a straight beast mode Fast and the furious, the ugliest the rappers has returned Motherfuckers getting hurt, we gon' let the fire burn I'm turning the fuck up, so what's up with y'all? We must rise up together, divide and we fall Break down the walls, let's start the revolution If you're feeling useless, here's your solution Join the movement, become a pirate We ride and die with sex, drugs and violence Here come the sirens, but I'm not alarmed Heavily armed with devastating bombs What's going on guys, it's good to see you and welcome back to the channel again. You see, I kept my promise for another week. So, I hope you enjoyed this leg workout. It's a really specific high, um, it's a heavy leg workout to be honest. Uh, by starting, as you could see, with squats, heavy squats for four sets of uh, four to six reps or so. Uh, yeah, so that's really intense. Then afterwards you move on to deadlifts. Deadlifts, I used to do it really easily with 160, 180 kilos. Now I'm struggling with 140, but is what it is, what can I do? It's uh, quite tough. And this program as well, it's not really focusing on getting stronger on deadlifts since it's the second compound movement. It's quite tough to get uh, more strong uh, strength in that. But the next program, I'll assure that I'm gonna focus on deadlifts as well, like much more to get more uh, strength in that back. Uh, afterwards, you move on to a hack squat machine. Honestly, this one we have, it's not the best, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good as well to really focus on the quad movement. Afterwards, you do a leg curl, a standing leg curl exercise followed by um, some ab exercise so and in the end you can finish it off with some calves exercises like uh, seating calf uh, uh, seated calf exercises would be really great as you can see it's not a ton of exercises in this workout so just a couple but uh, keep in mind these sets should be really really heavy so uh, at this point if you have like one more in the tank that's all right one or two maybe in the tank that's all right but if you have more then you're not doing it right so the purpose of it is to have a bit longer periods of time between sets uh, but you really focus on the uh, movement as well you stretch your leg at the uh, top of the movement so you really feel the burn uh, We'll have another workout which is focused more on hypertrophy, so where we're gonna get more um, muscle activation. But this is where you get you have to switch it up. Both of these things, both of these types of workout, are really efficient, really good for strength and getting your muscles to grow. And one last thing I want to mention for all of you is I just got back in ketosis this week. Uh, which wasn't as easy as I remembered. Since I did not do keto for over two years now, um, and my body was really adapted back to the carbs, it was really rough. But what I did was really simple. I did a two day, almost a two day fast, just water and some coffee without any sweetener or stuff, which depletes kind of your uh, tank, but it was not enough and I had on the end of the second day uh, kind of some a small portion of protein and fat um, with no carbs basically just like 500 600 calories or so and the next day the workout uh, of the heavy chest workout really drained me off it was to be honest a bit rough for me because as you know that the fat adaptation to the ketosis uh, it's not as easy as you think but I didn't have like keto flu symptoms really bad like I felt nauseous and I felt a bit dizzy uh, during the workout and but there were not other symptoms like feeling sick like your nose uh, running or stuff like that or your throat uh, to be um, hurting yourself 
So that's a good thing. And now on the second day after that, I, I pretty much uh, feel it because I, I remember how it was that if you excrete a lot of water, that, that's the sign that you really took out all the carbs from your muscle, the, all the glycogen you excreted it. And now slowly I will adapt back to keto, so fat burning mode, you know. Because one of the reasons I'm back to vlogging as well is it keeps me more accountable to myself because I have to show you something that is true, that it is real, that it works. So for that, I have to be accountable for myself as well. So that's enough talk for today and I hope you see you to the next week. And till then, stay safe and stay away from COVID till then and see you soon. Goodbye. Thank you.